My name is Deshaun, how you guys doing? This video is going to go out to all you Anatomy 2A students, Anatomy 1B, Physiology 1B, Anatomy and Physiology you know, course classes. All of you people that are interested in learning how a muscle contraction takes place and the processes thereby which we call neuromuscular junction and the nerve stimulus and the process thereby a muscle contraction is able to take place. Now before I tell you about anything else, this video is going to be able to help aid you when you're sitting down and you're taking your test for your anatomy lab practicums or your health practicums in which are going to ask you multiple choice or essay questions about how the process of a muscle contraction takes place in the neuromuscular junction and the nerve stimulus process. Okay, so now here, before anything, you must understand that there are going to be two necessities that are going to be important in order for a muscle contraction to even begin to take place. The first is going to be that there's going to be a need for a sensory nerve impulse. And secondly, there's going to be a need for a muscle fiber or a muscle in order for the contraction to even take place. Now I'm going to tell you and explain in a little bit of detail about how these nine steps are going to be able to make this muscle contract. Now here's the first one. The first step in order for a muscle contraction to take place is that there has to be an action potential that travels along the axon. An action potential or an electrical impulse that travels along the axon of the neuron. Secondly, you have to understand that when that action potential or that sensory nerve impulse travels along that axon, it makes its way to what's called an axon terminal membrane. And when it reaches that axon terminal membrane, depolarization of that axon terminal membrane occurs and it's going to open the sodium gate and the cat potassium gate. Both gates open immediately when it depolarizes that axon terminal membrane. The third step is that calcium is going to promote fusion between the synaptic vesicles and the ter axon terminal membrane. The fourth step is going to be that uh, the synaptic vesicles are going to release a hormone known as ACH or acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft via the process of exocytosis. I just mentioned two important things right now. The first one is that there's a hormone known as ACH and you should get very familiar with that hormone and how is it released. And secondly, I just mentioned exocytosis which is a process by which one thing makes its way from one area to the outside by eating its way through a phagocytosis group. Now what happens is that ACH is now inside that axon terminal membrane. It's going to eat its way through it and make its way into the synaptic cleft. The fifth step of this process, the depolarization motor implants occur. And sixthly, you have to understand that propagation or the moving of the action potential along the sarcolemma occurs and on the adjacent areas of that sarcolemma depolarization wave is going to spread or move down and it's going to open up the sodium voltage gate. Seventhly, understand that immediately following that depolarization wave, repolarization is going to occur and that sodium voltage gate that just opened now closes and the potassium gates now open. The eighth important step about this whole process is going to be that the action potential is going to travel down the deep tubule. Now, ninthly, and finally, the last step of this process is going to be when that action potential, that central nerve impulse, moves and makes its way down that deep tubule, it's going to trigger the terminal cisternae, which are going to release the calcium ion into the sarcoplasm of that muscle. Now, I've just described this process to you, but don't you think it's going to be highly important for you to understand what ions are necessary for this process to take place, what membranes are necessary, and what is the axon terminal membrane, and what are the synaptic vesicles, and don't you think you're going to have to know what, what potassium and calcium ions and the sodium ions have to do with this whole process before you can master this process? You have to understand the terminology and the things that are inclusive in order for this process to take place. My name is Deshaun, and hopefully this video has been good enough to help you replay it over and over and over until it becomes knee-jerk for you to master this process by which is going to help you in your long run to the future as a future nurse healthcare professional. And now I'm going to continue to get back to my music and other things that I enjoy doing. 
my name is Deshaun, and this has just been a great video for you guys. Replay it over and over again, and learn how that process is able to take place. Goodbye.